Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics, the YouTube channel that helps you become a modern day renaissance man. And today I'm really excited because after three months of being on hiatus, I'm finally back here on YouTube. And today's video is all about giving you guys an update, kind of explaining what happened, where I've been, and what are the future plans for the channel. So, for those of you who have been keeping track of the channel, you probably noticed a couple things. One, my beard is a lot thicker, and my hair is a lot longer. Well, actually, you can't tell right now because I just came out of the shower, but the main thing is, you're probably like, where the hell did Josh go? It's been almost three months, and he's released like one video, and the answer to that isn't easy, but I'm going to try to give you the condensed version. So about five-ish months ago, some opportunities came my way, both personal and professional. And as they converged, I realized that in order to capitalize on those, I would have to step away from the YouTube platform for a little while in order to focus my attentions and energies on those priorities and just to give you an idea of like all the things that have been going on uh, I sold my house I moved multiple times I traveled across the country multiple times I got married not multiple times and I also am overseas right now so like right now, I'm actually in South Korea. This is my apartment here in South Korea, land of the morning calm. So needless to say, a lot has been going on and that's just the stuff that I can tell you or remember. But in the background, I've been juggling a lot of different things. And finally, my schedule is normalizing enough that I can dedicate some more time back to YouTube. So, with all of that being said, the intent for the next few weeks or months is, well, first and foremost, I'm going to try to release at least one video per week. I think that's a conservative estimate, but for right now, since I am still kind of the dust is settling and I'm trying to adjust to my schedule here, I'm going to limit it to that, but it may end up being two or three per week, maybe even four, I don't know. My main priority is going to first be to finish out the, the Monument series that we've begun. We're about halfway through. There's a lot of really good information that's, that I still haven't gotten to, not to mention during all of the, the last few months, I've been working on my own projects where I've discovered more about the monomyth, which I think you guys are going to love and will be super helpful for all of the aspiring writers out there and, and aspiring polymaths. So that's going to be priority number one, priority number one. Then in the meantime, I'm also going to start a series on powerlifting. And don't let the beard fool you. I am not a professional power lifter, but powerlifting is a passion of mine. I love it. And I think that there are a lot of valuable lessons that you learn in the gym that translate over into real life, practical lessons. And those of you who aren't into powerlifting or, or weights, it, it's not, don't, don't get so focused on the powerlifting part. It's more about the physical aspect. As a modern day renaissance man, as a polymath, part of that is being a well-balanced individual. And many people get hung up on this misconception that a polymath should only, is just this very intelligent person. When in reality, the thing is, a lot of our mind health comes from our physical health. So if this isn't working properly, it it, it 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 starts to affect this. So whether it's powerlifting, yoga, 
bicycling, cycling, swimming, Zumba, LARPing, it doesn't matter what it is. Physical activity, walking, right, is going to help this stay focused so that you can be a, an expert in many fields and someone who is knowledgeable and can connect the dots. So, so there's that. And then the third piece is something that I've been toying around with for a little while here. And I finally have decided to pull the trigger, which is I want to do a series on investments. And this is both tangible investments and intangible investments. So but think of it like this, like how to invest your time. That, that's the intangible. And then how to invest your money. That's the tangible. And for the last two years, I've been in deep study both uh, academically reading about this, consuming as many books as I can, but also just practically trying to apply these concepts that I'm learning from both mentors and literature into the real world. And the purpose of the series will be to give you guys tools and experience so you don't have to go read all those books. You don't have to make the same mistakes I did. You don't have to have, uh, you know, you don't have to have top mentors like I was blessed to have in order to get this information so that you can benefit from it. So those are the three main priorities for the channel right now. And I'll be peppering in all different kinds of things throughout. You may even see some language Korean related stuff because I'm here in Korea now. And it looks like they're, one of my side jobs will be uh, teaching Korean to, to people over here. So anyways, that's what's been going on in a nutshell. I have missed you guys. I'm glad to be back. And I hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, and then one final note is if you guys have any questions that you want me to address, whether it's monomyth, uh, polymath, military stuff, any of the topics I just said, investments, go ahead and drop a comment down below and I'll try to get to it. While I've been gone, you guys have been giving me all kinds of questions on social media and things like that. Some of them I've been addressing in PMs. Some of them I'm like right now currently making a video for one of the questions that I thought was something that the whole audience could benefit from. So that's it in a nutshell. I hope everybody's doing well and I will catch you soon. Okay, take it easy.